And some North Texans are still frustrated with their flooding problems tonight. At this point, they're honestly crossing fingers, hoping it's not going to happen again like it happened last night. Aaron Jones live for us in Argyle in North Fort Worth. I have to imagine they're just simply hoping they don't see a repeat of last night. They are, Doug, and look what we're already dealing with here tonight. The rain is really coming down. There's thunder, there's lightning, and looking at the radar, this is really just the beginning for this neighborhood. The crews that we saw last night are on standby if we see the flooding in this area again. But like you said, last night, homeowners dealing with flooding at some of their homes. Also, you can see there's some streams here. There's puddles in people's front yards, so they're really hoping that this doesn't happen again. And tonight, for the first time we're hearing from town leaders. They're discussing how they plan to address this. We rented a, a mini excavator and, and dug this giant trench to protect us. Ted Downing took yard drainage into his own hands last year. The trench has worked really well for us uh, up until last night. This is video Downing recorded Tuesday night. His Argyle home at least one of eight that flooded after torrential rain. He says although Tuesday's flooding was exceptionally bad, this certainly was not the first time that this has happened. We started talking to the town about it in 2015. Erin Reed says she and her neighbors have brought up the flooding problem multiple times during the town council's monthly meetings. And we explained where the problems were, why there were problems, uh, where it was coming from. We are being heavily impacted. It's getting worse each time. This homeowner expressing his concern last week ahead of the storms. Argyle's mayor, Donald Moser, says the flooding problem was first brought to his attention last November. He says the town then hired an engineer to look into what's causing the problem and offer solutions to fix it. But since they weren't getting the results they wanted, they hired another engineer last month, stressing they need their findings soon. I would hope that a city would take care of its citizens so that they didn't have to build their own moat. And again, it is really pouring here. We're hearing thunder. We're seeing lightning. So it is not looking good for these homeowners. They're really worried about this. They hope that the next step is for the town to host a workshop where they can talk more in depth about what the solutions are to fix this flooding problem. Live in Argyle, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.